Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out a kids kind of paint and toy thing. And the reason for this is because I saw an advert on the TV and there was this kind of crazy paint that didn't seem to drip or there was some sort of magic involved. And I wanted to test it out for you guys and for myself to see what it's about, what kind of paint they use and what it's like. And this is what it is here, it's called Paintation. And I thought it was called Paint Station, but I think it's kind of a play on words instead of sensation, it's Paint Station. <laughs> but we'll have a look on Amazon where I bought it, just to see what it says about it and see if we can find any other information. Right, so this is it here. It's essentially a easel with some kind of little paint pods that don't drip, they don't spill. And that's what I'm curious about. Um, and also it was 21 quid, well, 21.99, which I find quite expensive for a kid's toy. I don't know whether that's the right price for kid's toys these days or not, I don't know. Um, I bought a kind of little stamp thing because I wanted to try that out too. And you get a little extra pot of paint with it. And that was 9.98. So in total, I've spent just over 30 quid on this kind of stuff. And there's lots of other kind of extras involved and it does seem quite expensive. But also that might be because I'm super cheap, who knows? <laughs> and no, it's probably because I'm super cheap. So it says it's got anti-gravity technology, so no spills. Long lasting paint in vibrant colors. I'm curious to know what kind of paint it is, whether it's acrylic, watercolor, what it is. Each pod creates over 100 paintings apparently. It comes with some paintbrushes and some paper, which is decent, I didn't know that. And it's not appropriate for children under three. And apparently there's an advert. What a mess! Don't worry, Paint Station has the solution. Ta da! Paint Station is magic. Colors never drip in the paint pods, even when upside down. The greatest invention since the. Hang on a second, I live the overacting. What a mess! <laughs> Uh, Don't worry, paint pods even went upside down. The greatest invention since the paintbrush. With paint station, there's no mess, no spill, and it's washable. With lots of colors and cool accessories, like the easel, roller, nibs, and on the go. It's super fun. Free your imagination with paint station. Right, <laughs> right, okay, that was a lot. Um, so yeah, apart like it looks like it's kind of a sponge dipped in paint and the paint kind of doesn't spill and doesn't seem to dry up or something. I don't know. So we'll open it up and we'll have a little play and see what it's like. They're the paints. Thing is, is that, right, that's it. That's everything in the box. And this is what I'm mainly interested in, these weird paint things. So, I'm curious to see what they're like. I assume they'll dry out if you leave the lids off because otherwise they wouldn't have a lid on. I have a little protective thing. Hmm. Oh. I wasn't going to smell it. I don't know why I smelled it. And I smelled it. It's not what I was expecting at all. It does not smell like paint. It smells like perfume or something. What? What is that? Do, do they all smell like that? They do. They kind of got. They've got a um, like a lavendery, perfumey smell. Oh, maybe they're not allowed fumes because it's a kids' toy. I'm just gonna be huffing paint all day. Oh my god, they smell. They smell so good. 
If I was a child, I'd want to eat it. I don't know whether that's kind of a good thing or a bad thing. Um, not what I was expecting at all. And <laughs> sorry, I just completely sidetracked there. Um, right, let's open this. That's so strange. Right, so you get this thing here, which is kind of an easel thing. You know what? I'm not really bothered about this. I'll put this to one side. It's just the paint that I'm interested in. And it gives you some paper. Oh, wait. I need to do the, um... I need to do the advert reaction, so I'm opening my paint up, and oh, I flipped it upside down. <laughs> it's strange. I'd, uh, I don't know whether it tells us what kind of paint it is. It just says it's a satin finish. I want to know whether it's an acrylic or what it is. Hang on. Oh, this paper's thin. This paper is super thin. That's just all about the easel. The easel seems quite complicated to set up. I just want to test this paint out. It's just so strange. It's... Can you hear that? ASMR. Okay. The paint's actually quite nice. It's not too bad. It's a bit on the thin side. I just find it odd. I think... I, I can't tell what paint it is I'm assuming it's a sponge that's kind of soaked in acrylic paint and then somehow it just kind of stays like that I'm not sure how quickly this would dry up but it must last long enough for them to create it and sell them and whatnot and for them to sit on shelves so um, very interesting Let's try the different colours. So I've got a blue one here. I ordered a purple one as well. Um, I would definitely say it's an acrylic. But it's, a, it's an acrylic that's mixed with something. I'm not sure what it's mixed with. The paintbrushes, actually, to, to be fair, to give it to them, um, I spent... By the way, this isn't sponsored or anything. Obviously, I spent whatever money it was I spent on it, and I thought it was quite expensive for the price. It's actually not too bad. The quality of it, I'm surprised about. Like, these are really kind of robust, and I can imagine for kids and parents, this is probably quite important. These very rigid, you could probably fling these across the room, and they wouldn't smash or anything like that. And the paint themselves, I'm quite impressed with. I was expecting a lot, lot less. I really was. So uh, that's surprising. Let me open this kind of little stamp thing and see what this is like. Um, I know fine well, already saying this off the bat, especially with the easel, I haven't installed that or anything. But I know fine well. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oof, oh, my light just fell. Sorry about that. Right, is that up? Yeah. Okay. We're recording again. Um, f right. I've lost my train of thought now. What was I saying? If I was a kid, or when I was a kid, if I was ever a kid, um, I would really enjoy this. I would really, really enjoy this. It's something I would have a lot of fun with. And it's washable as well, apparently. It washes out of stuff. That's why it makes me think that they've mixed it, they've mixed the paint with something. Because A, the smell, acrylic paint does not smell like that. I was really surprised. That's nice. The thing is though, right, I'm just thinking, I spent, I think, £10 on this thing here. And I don't know whether the quality of kids' toys are just better these days, but, like, this is decent. This is pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's test this thing out. Hang on. How would you take this off? Oh. So it just, just pulls out, so that's pretty decent. I'll try stars. Um, 
Ah. See, that's super cool. I'm impressed. I am very impressed. Um, I was fully intending to slag this off, and this it was the paint that kind of intrigued me, the fact that it doesn't kind of spill. I wanted to figure out what it was. And with my experience with paint, I would say that this is an acrylic paint that is soaked in a sponge. It could even be a gouache, actually. Um, that's soaked in a sponge, but there's something added to it that keeps it kind of wet. But the reason it doesn't drip is because it's in a... Let's have a look again. It's in like a, a spongy kind of material, like you can see it there. It's so it's not kind of just paint on its own in there. There's a fabricy thing that's kind of soaked in the paint, and that's why it doesn't drip anywhere. And it's quite a clever idea. I think it's a very clever idea, actually. You, you know what it kind of reminds you of? You know a paint roller. It's kind of that material, and it's almost like it's that that's kind of soaked in paint and then placed in one of these, but... Oh, yeah, this, <laughs> this paint smells quite nice as well. I'm really impressed with it. If I was a kid, I would absolutely love to get this, and I'm going to... I'm not going to waste it, because I'm going to actually give it to my niece and she can use it and I think she'll have a lot of fun with it and obviously if you get the easel set up and stuff and it seems quite a hard wearing toy I was wanting this to kind of be a funny video of slagging off kind of how shit kids toys are but it's been kind of the opposite I'm like oh I want more well done pain station I think it's a really good product and if you've got any creative kind of little kids out there they would enjoy this. They would have a lot of fun with it. I think they would anyway. I know I would. Um, and I just think it's a really, really clever idea. I'm really impressed. Really, really impressed. I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. But yeah, so I went into this thinking that 30 odd quid was really expensive for this kind of toy and what it was. But now that I've got it, I think it's worth every penny. I think it's a really, really good product and I would definitely recommend it for any kind of families out there who have younger kids who kind of want this, who don't want the mess or anything like that. I think it's really, really great. Um, and it's really surprised us. I think that's the main thing out of all of this. It's really surprised us. I don't know how long these will last. I don't know whether these sponge paint things will dry out quite quickly so I'm not sure the longevity of this product apparently you can get a hundred patents out of it the paper you get with it's crap but you can easily buy some decent cartridge paper the brushes you get with them aren't too bad and these kind of roller things I think they're really nifty and handy and dead easy to kind of take out and yeah I'm um I'm sold <laughs> But I can imagine you can probably find this in your local toy store, whichever toy stores are around, I don't know. Um, you can get it on Amazon and online, and I would definitely recommend it. I think it's really, really great. And I think my niece will have a lot of fun with this, and hopefully she won't make too much mess in my brother's house. Hopefully. Um, but I think, I think it's really great, and I love these little stamps. So this one's got like a fishy shark thing on it and this one's got like little footprints but I think they have it like a whole kind of range of different things like you've got like a finger nubby thing or something and different colored paints and yeah um, I'm, just, I'm just really impressed I'm impressed with this product I'm really impressed with it but let me know in the comments down below especially if you've got kids whether you've got one of these at home whether you've tried it used it did you like it or whether you plan on getting one because I would definitely like I said recommend this and this isn't a sponsored video if paint station want to give me some money for you know promoting their product and basically blowing smoke up their ass then feel free to get in touch get in touch get in touch <laughs> but yeah I think it's a really great gift for young kids and I'm just I'm yeah 
I'm, I'm totally on board with it. I'm sold. I'm sold. Take my money. And if you're a bit older, let me know in the comments whether you would have appreciated this as a kid, um, whether you would have had fun with it, whether you think it's a good idea. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know if there are any other strange kind of art products, whether it's kids toys or whether it's anything else that you want me to test out on the channel. Like I said, I saw the advert on the telly and I just had to kind of try it out and see if it was what it said it was and it definitely is. And I could huff this pain all day long. Not that I'm recommending that at all, but it does smell fantastic. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.